Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Shanice, but you can call me Sha. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my individual lash extensions at home with drugstore products. So a couple days ago, I stopped at CVS and I went ahead and got the Ardell DIY Lash Extension Kit along with the Soft Touch Not Free Ardell Individual Lashes. Now, this is not the first time that I'm doing my lash extensions at home on myself. This is maybe the second or third, but I'm not a professional by any standard of the word and i'm still practicing and learning how to do this in the most efficient way so i prefer the not free tapered lash extensions in clusters and since i have two of the same lashes i'm probably just going to stick to medium the medium length which is here and the longer lengths in this kit, the DIY eyelash extension kit, it comes with lash glue, lash remover, tweezers, and enough lashes for both of your eyes. I also have a mirror here, it's just a compact. On the bottom of my mirror, it's like cardboard, telegraphic, but it's cardboard. I'm going to use this to put my glue on. Here's what the lash tweezers look like so the clear bottle is the lash glue and the green bottle is the lash remover of my lashes here i took them out of the packaging so they might be easier for you to see i'm pretty much going to start with the long ones on my outer lash line and then as we get closer to the middle and my inner lashes i'll go in with the medium so <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, I don't know why. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour just a little bit of the lash glue. So now I'm gonna take my longer ones and you just pull it out as you would um, strip lashes. They come out pretty easily. And this is my first cluster. This is really difficult to explain, but I'm gonna hold them so that the curl, they curl out so they curl out and you really can't see and then i'm just gonna dip just a little in the glue okay so i'm just gonna go in right underneath underneath my lash line the outer and then just put it so now when I'm placing my lashes, I'm going to space them out quite a bit and then go back in and fill in the sparse areas. So I'm placing them under my lash line or under my lashes as opposed to on top like you would a strip lash. Okay, this one didn't bond. Now I'm holding my mirror right under my nose and it's okay if you blink you're gonna blink once it's on there i just press it up a little bit but not too much and there we are I've went ahead and did like the base, like my base. Let's see how it looks. So you can see a little different. I'm gonna go back in and fill in some of the sparse areas. But they look pretty good so far. <laughs> I'm not gonna go too close to my 
inner corner because my eyes get irritated really easily and i already know like they're they're gonna be watering my eyes are gonna be watering i'm gonna be irritated and i'm gonna have to take them off so i'm not even gonna do that to myself okay zoom so now i'm just gonna wait for them to dry but this is pretty much the finished look so i just finished putting on my lashes and i wanted to pop the sun just went behind the clouds. I wanted to pop in really quickly to give some tips and tricks. Now that I've finished putting on my lashes, I can pretty much let you know what worked and what didn't work for me. So tip number one, you wanna make sure that your tools are clean of glue and debris at all times. If your tools have glue on it, it's gonna be really difficult to get the lash to stick to your natural lashes because they're gonna be trying to stick to the tools. Number two, when you pull your lash out of the tray, sometimes it can have glue on it just from being in the tray. You wanna make sure that you remove that glue before you dip the lash into your lash type glue. Now I say that because the glue that is used to keep it on the tray is not clear, it's white, and you will be able to see it on your lash line if you do not remove it. Third tip that I wanna give is if you ruin the lash, for example, if you try to pull it out the tray and it gets discombobulated, it loses a couple limbs, just leave it, don't force it. You wanna make sure that your lashes are in pristine condition when you're applying them. So if they look a little funky, if they're a little wonky, if you ruin them trying to pull them out of the tray just move on to the next one and be gentle when removing them tip number four you always want to apply your lash to your natural lash and not on your waterline i cannot stress this enough if you get the lash on your waterline it is going to irritate your eyes your eyes are going to be watering they're going to be irritated and you're going to have to remove your lashes and more often than not you're going to have to remove all of them because you're not going to know which one is irritating your eye tip number five if this is not obvious already which it might not be you want to apply your lashes under your natural lashes and not on top as you would strip lashes tip number five always go for not free cluster lashes basically what that means is there isn't a ball on the end of your lash it's a flat lash line which is, it makes it much easier to install and less irritating to your eye so always go for not free Tip number six, if you have sensitive eyes like I do, after you dip your lash into the glue, just give it a second, maybe blow on it before you apply it to your lash line because the glue has like a scent, like a smell, and it will cause you to close your eye, which is really irritating. So just blow on it or give it a little shake before you go ahead and apply it. You don't wanna make, you don't wanna let it dry out it has to be tacky enough to adhere to your lashes so don't let it dry but don't just dip in and put it on your your eye because the chemical the smell you're gonna be it's gonna be too much and then your eyes are gonna start watering and you're gonna mess up the whole process so i think that's it i don't have any more tips i believe that was six if you are new to applying lash extensions but not new to applying lashes this is going to be super easy for you to pick up and easy for you to do i think next what i'm going to try is to look for 18 or 19 mm cluster lashes not free obviously on amazon i don't know if that's a thing but let me know down below if that's what you buy drop the link i'm gonna shop i don't have much to say about these lashes they were super easy to install the glue and eh. for both of my eyes i ended up using one row of long and one row of medium which I think it turned out pretty fine. The only thing that I can say that I don't like about the Ardell lashes so far is the length options, like long, medium, short. I wish that they would have had numbers so I can see exactly how long they are, but I'm also a girl that wears 25 mm strip lashes, so. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. So I hope you guys got something out of this. If you have any questions, if I breeze through something, just let me know down below. I'm more than happy to answer. Thank you so much for hanging with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.